let's see why we have days and nights. Let's assume this globe is our earth and this lamp is the sun. Now look closely. The light is shining only on one side. This is day. Now look at the other part. And you can see it's dark. This is night. When the earth rotates, day changes to night and night changes to day. That's how the rotation of the earth causes day and night. Pretty cool, right? Earth is actually tilted on its axis, like this. This means that as it orbits around the sun, some parts of it are closer to the sun and some parts of it are farther away. It takes one year for the earth to go around the sun one time. When the North Pole is tilted towards the sun, it's summer in countries in the Northern Hemisphere. Such as the UK, the USA, France, and Egypt. And the weather is warmer. But later in the year, the North Pole is tilted away from the sun, with the South Pole closer. This means it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere. countries like Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand. When it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. And when it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere. We all know that summer is warmer and winter is colder, but what about the seasons in between? After winter comes spring, and it started to get warmer as we move towards summer. Down here on earth, plants start to bloom. Animals come out of hibernation after the cold winter months, and we get more daylight. After summer comes autumn, and as we move towards winter, it begins to colder. We start to get less daylight, trees lose their leaves, and some birds start flying to warmer places.